Hi everyone, let's take a look at number 11b on page 91. If f of x equals to 1 plus x times 1 plus 2x times 1 plus 3x all the way to 1 plus nx, find f prime of 0. So before I start step 1, if you haven't watched 11a or if you haven't tried 11a, make sure you try this first. There's a video posted prior to this one that you can practice before trying 11b. Now, here's the first step. In the 11a video, we've talked about the product row, extended product row, the extended, extended product row, if you will. So when you apply this, you differentiate the first. When you differentiate the first term, the derivative of 1 plus x is going to be 1. And you copy everything else. Plus, you copy the first term. You differentiate the second term, and again, when you differentiate 1 plus 2x, that's going to be 2, and you copy everything else. Plus, you copy the first term, the second term, you differentiate the third term, and in this case, that's going to give you 3, and again, you copy everything else. Now, if you extend this idea all the way to the last number, this means you will copy everything all the way to that second last term. And when you differentiate the final term, that's going to give you n. Now, your goal is not to find f prime of x. Your goal is to find f prime of 0. So you can go back, plug it in. And what happens is this equals to 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to the final term, n. So again, make sure you plug in x to be 0. You can see all the remaining terms. Then you go back to grade 11 math, sequence and series, and you have to recognize that to get from 1 to 2, you're adding 1. To get from 2 to 3, you're adding 1. So there's a common difference of 1. The first term is going to be 1. This is an arithmetic sequence, or in this case, an arithmetic series, since you're adding it. Now, there are two formulas that you can use. So one of them is Sn equal to n divided by 2 times a plus tn. And of course, a means the first number. tn is the last number, which means the sum of all these terms is going to be n divided by 2 times 1 plus n, which implies that, therefore, f prime of 0 equals to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. I hope this makes sense.